This is New Orleans jazz music, and it will never die because the feeling that we get as performers when we play it is the greatest drug in the world. That is part of the film Up From the Streets, New Orleans, The City of Music. It's one of the movies that's playing at the Broad Theater, which is reopening today. Alfred Richard is joining us now with an update on the area's movie theaters and a look at some movie choices if you want to stay at home and keep watching. Hey, Alfred. Hello there, Sheba. How you making um, out? I'm doing pretty well in the secret broadcast cave. Uh, what Good. we have, let's go over some of the theaters. Let's go over what is open and what is not. Okay. First, let's go what is not right now. The AMC theaters, Elmwood, Clearview, West Bank, and Hammond, they remain closed at this time. The Regal in Covington and Esplanade out in Kenna, Kennebra, <laughs> they're closed as well. Too. Okay. But let's talk about those that are open. And let's today do it. we can say that the Broad Theater will reopen today. 2 p.m. will be their first screening. Now they will be open at 25% capacity. So they're going to adhere to, I guess you would say, phase one opening. But some of the films that are going to be available, the one we just showed, the highlight of, the Up From The Streets, a really, really good documentary about New Orleans music. Also a film that Reminds me of Eric. It's called a Fantastic Fun Guy, the <laughs> mushroom movie. <laughs> just take fantastic off. <laughs> well, he's just, yeah, just, he's a fun guy. There you just, go. And also a film called The Trip to Greece and two classics, uh, Galaxy Quest. Yes, for those of us who are science fiction fans. Okay. And The Goonies. One of my favorites of all time. So you can have an adventure at The Goonies at the Broad. It opens today. The Britannia has been open for the last couple of weeks, but they're changing things around again. The film that they're going to be focusing on at 4 o'clock and 10 p.m. throughout the entire week, Prince, Morse Day in the Time, Apollonia 6, and, of course, it's Purple Rain. Beautiful. And the big one at 7 o'clock, they've been featuring a lot of Harry Potter films. It will be Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Oh, That's nice. That's going to be at 7 at the Britannia. And again, you can order T-shirts, even a poster. I'm going to get one so I can put up on my wall of fame in a few days, as it were. So. Okay, wonderful. Oops. You're going to add, now, I can't wait to see the updated wall next week. Now, what about people who still want to stay home and stream stuff? If you still want to stay home and stay up, there's some things I do want to recommend. Uh, number one, on Amazon Prime, there are two big films. One, Rocket Man, and that, of course, is the biopic of Elton John. Oh, I want to see Not, that one. It's a very good film. I was expecting it to get more from the Academy Awards. It didn't. It just got an Oscar for Best Song, in which Elton was in, of course. Mm -hmm. And a very good documentary called I Am Big Bird, The Carol Spinney Story. It's about the man who played Big Bird and also was the voice of Oscar the Grouch for all the years on Sesame Street. His name was Carol Spinney. Oh, that should be he cool. He passed away a little while ago, but it's going to be shown on Amazon Prime. And if you're still looking for film items, on Crackle, you can watch Captain Phillips, Tom Hanks, and of course, Look, look at me now. I'm the captain now. I'm the captain now. And you <laughs> I love when you the, do the movies and don't just tell us about the movies. You are the, two, the movies. On the 2B streaming system, a classic from Alfred Hitchcock, Dial M for Murder, and Chicago, the, the great musical with Renee Zellweger and Catherine Zeta-Jones. And one of my favorites on Voodoo, it is a film starring Bruce Campbell, and it's the first and only film that involves Egyptology, mummies, and Elvis. You know it's what, called <laughs> Bubba Hotep. Bubba Hotep. Okay, and you said this Bubba was one of your Hotep. favorites. This sounds uh, thank, like a lot. Thank you very much. Uh, I have to do this very quickly. Of course, I say on the wall of fame here, and I have to do this. This one is one for you, Sheba. Oh. This is my great, great niece, oh. Ariel. How old and is she? She's a, she is now, oh my goodness, she's now four years old. Oh, she's absolutely precious. 
It's her birthday. She's a darling. Well, no, I just I you there's just so like many to give of your shout outs. birthdays. I have to keep them going. All I the understand time. because you love your family and you always give us a special shout out. I did, I did ask for one today because I know you always have them on your back wall. I have them there. I was going to show you one. I found a baby shoe of all things some years ago. A baby shoe of mine. It's an old shoe. I'll do that next week. It's a for a tease. That sounds great. Yes, and then after the that, actual shoe. You what are you gonna do with the shoe, Alfred? Well, I, actually, I have it on my dressing room, on my table here in my home. Otherwise, I can't fit into it, and I'm not going to paint it gold like a 610 stomper shoe. Hint, there's a slope, there's a little slide plug there. You know what? Next week, we need a home <laughs> tour. We'll see you then, Alfred. <laughs> okay. Thanks. <laughs>